Shemuel Rishon, 1 Samuel 2. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoices in Yahuwah. My horn is exalted in Yahuwah. My mouth is enlarged over my enemies because I rejoice in your Yeshua. There is none holy as Yahuwah, for there is none beside you. Neither is there any rock like our Elohim. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For Yahuwah is an Elohim of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty men are broken, and they that stumbled are girded with strength. They that were, f were full have hired out themselves for bread, and they that were hungry ceased, so that the barren has borne seven, and she that has many children is waxed feeble. Yahuwah kills and makes alive. He brings down to Sheol and brings up. Yahuwah makes poor and makes rich. He brings low and lifts up. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifts up the beggar from the dunghill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are Yahuwah's, and he has set the world upon them. He will guard the feet of his Chaitzid, and the wicked shall be silent. Rather, he will guard the feet of his Yahid. Rather, he will guard the feet of his Chachid, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries of Yahuwah shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. Yahuwah shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king, and exalt the horn of his anointed. And Elkanah went to Ramah, to his house, and the child did minister unto Eth Yahuwah, before Eth Eli, the priest. Now the sons of Eli were sons of Belial. They knew not Eth Yahuwah. And the priest's custom with Eth the people was that when any man offered sacrifice, the priest's servant came while the flesh was in seething with a flesh hook of three teeth in his hand. And he struck it into the pan or kettle or cauldron or pot. All that the flesh hook brought up, the priest took for himself. So they did in Shiloh unto all Yashadael that came thither. Also, before they burnt eth the fat, the priest's servant came and said to the man that sacrificed, Give flesh to roast for the priest, for he will not have sodden flesh of you, but raw. And if any man said unto him, Let them not fail to burn the fat presently, and then take as much as your soul desires. Then he would answer him, Nay, but you shall give it me now, and if not, I will take it by force. Wherefore the sin of the young men was very great eth before Yahuwah, for men abhorred eth the offering of Yahuwah. But Shemuel ministered before Yahuwah, being a child, girded with a linen ephod. Moreover, his mother made him a little coat and brought it to him from year to year when she came up eth with her man to offer eth the yearly sacrifice. And Eli blessed eth Elkanah and eth his woman and said, Yahuwah, give you seed of this woman 
for the loan which is lent to Yahuwah. And they went unto their own home, and Yahuwah visited Eth Chana, so that she conceived, and bore three sons and two daughters. And the child Shemuel grew before Yahuwah. Now Eli was very strong, and heard Eth all that his sons did unto all Yasharael, and Eth how they lay with the women that assembled Eth at the door of the tabernacle of the assembly. And he said unto them, Why do ye such things? For I hear Eth of your evil dealings by all this people. Nay, my sons, for it is no good report that I hear. Ye make Yahuwah's people to transgress. If one man sin against another, the judge shall judge him. But if a man sin against Yahuwah, who shall entreat for him? Notwithstanding, they hearkened not unto the voice of their father, because Yahuwah would slay them. And the child Shemuel grew on and was in favor both with Yahuwah and also with men. And there came a man of Elohim unto Eli and said unto him, Thus says Yahuwah, Did I plainly appear unto the house of your father when they were in Mitzrayim in Pharaoh's house? And did I choose him out of all the tribes of Yashadael to be my priest, to offer upon my altar, to burn incense, to wear an ephod before me? And did I give unto the house of your father eth all the offerings made by fire of the children of Yashadael? Wherefore kick ye at my sacrifice and at my offering, which I have commanded in my habitation, and honor eth your sons above me, to make yourselves fat with the chiefest of all the offerings of Yashadael, my people. Wherefore, Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael says, I said indeed that your house and the house of your father should walk before me forever. But now, Yahuwah says, Be it far from me, for them that honor me I will honor, and they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. Behold, the days come that I will cut off eth your arm, and eth the arm of your father's house, that there shall not be an old man in your house. And you shall see an enemy in my habitation, in all the wealth which Elohim shall give, eth Yashadael. And there shall not be an old man in your house forever. And the men of yours, whom I shall not cut off from my altar, shall be to consume eth your eyes, and to grieve eth your heart, and all the increase of your house shall die in the flower of age, rather of their age. And this shall be a sign unto you that shall come upon your two sons on Chophni and Pinachach. In one day they shall die, both of them. And I will raise me up a faithful priest that shall do according to that which is in my heart and in my mind. And I will build him a sure house, and he shall walk before my anointed forever. And it shall come to pass that every one that is left in your house shall come and crouch to him for a piece of silver and a morsel of bread, and shall say, Put me, I pray you, into one of the priest's offices, that I may eat a piece of bread 